clients are doctors by profession and uh, they are nearing their 60s and they want to have like a retirement home away from the city they want to get out from the hustle bustle of the entire place so they got this land a few years back and they wanted to like develop this into you know to bring about like a reminiscent of their childhood home have like you know constant connection with the nature uh hi i'm uh, architect kavya and this is architect deepak so uh, we have a architecture and interior design firm called studio 1 by 0 uh, based in chennai and uh, today we are here at our uh, project uh, the vipa farm house which is a primary residential property uh, and so this is churo so she uh, she is our uh, pet and she knows this project more than we do i guess so after like starting our studio so this was like our first uh, major architectural project and uh, we wanted to like make something like really unique and uh, really challenging and not take a very safe route so the main thing is to create like a perfect symbiosis between the external environment the built form and the interior spaces so we wanted to like create a space where we get like a lot of sunshine and you no know, rain into the space as well so this will create like a sense of belonging for the client in the farm so this is situated in a village called atur so the site is located 28 kilometers away from the city and you access it through the chennai kolkata highway so the site is around 2 uh, acres and uh, it's facing east you know the farmhouse is like completely surrounded by landscape throughout and uh, also we get like a proper view point of the entire entry and exits of the site as well uh, we are at the entrance porch of the house so uh, the house welcomes you with like you know long treads which is like flanked by uh, landscape on either sides and which basically brings about the essence of the project from the beginning itself and as we approach the landing we are greeted by this uh, feature wall over here again we try to like uh, break the pattern of uh, the monotonous arrangement of bricks in the beginning itself so we had to make the plan in a square or a rectangular shape because of uh, vastu reasons we we decided to have the living in the kitchen in the front so as you enter into the living room you're greeted by this you know really nice uh, filler slab uh, at the ceiling and you have like the oxide flooring in the uh, done and more importantly when you first see you you see like the living courtyard uh, that is there over here so we are in the main living room of the house uh, so as you see a lot of the furniture that's uh, put in this living room is made out of reclaimed wood so we have sourced this wood from pondicherry and uh, karaikudi and different parts of uh, tamil nadu and then we wanted to have the bedrooms at the back for privacy and we connected both of this using a passage where the dining would be uh, the client's initial request was to have a courtyard um and uh, since uh, the uh, since she cooks a lot so she wanted to have a view from the kitchen as well and they spend like a lot of their time with their families in the living like instead of having a single courtyard which hmm. which was the idea that the client wanted like she wanted a single courtyard in the center but we thought why not actually split it into two and you know that gives you more views more uh, place to roam around and more flexibility in terms of planning as well right instead of being very constrained to a single courtyard so as soon as you enter the house this is the first view of the courtyard that you get and uh, you know that you are in constant touch with nature and you have this beautiful chinese ficus tree which is almost 80 years old uh, and you have this granite seating around it where uh, the client spends most of her evenings reading a book or drinking chai and all of that is spent here and uh, as i said we want to like break the monotonous structure so we we built this kind of a parametric wall so the wall itself uh, was like made to like cut down the light from the west side this also acts like a backdrop for the dining as well uh, so you have these uh, foldable uh, shutters that uh, when you open it out the house kind of extends to the outside there's a lawn on the outside so it it looks more like an extension of the house uh, the courtyard helps in regulating the temperature inside the house so the hot air escapes uh, and then there's like you know there's like a good air circulation inside so it keeps the place really cool 
and uh, the bedrooms are located on on further inside part of the house where uh, from the dining there is like another glass door which like which like takes you to the master bedroom and uh, the master bedroom in turns has like a bay window and there's like a really long solid wood and cane uh, wardrobe that is there but again we've made it like very light using the glass uh, sandwiching the cane with the uh, uh, glass as well and uh, and as you can come out and you have like the guest bedroom on, on the other side of it where again it has like a long wardrobe with the same kind of uh, detailing we wanted to like keep the material palette to a very uh, limited amount of materials so we we've used exposed brick and you know cement plaster and uh, we've used only oxide flooring so the colors are predominantly red gray and you no know, black and combined with like a lot of natural light inside the space you continuously keep uh, in tune with the nature so everywhere you go there is like a constant visual connection of the landscape be it how it's like on the outside they they wanted to like feel those things in the inside as well like in terms of the sunshine and you know the rain aspects so uh, i think that in itself brings like a sense of calmness inside you which i think we everybody needs in this day and age